you're doing good in this video i will be showing you how to create a print on demand general store so i'll be showing you how to create a print on demand store that sells multiple products so the first thing you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and i want you to tap on apps after tapping on apps you're going to tap on app and sales channel settings from here you're going to tap on shopify app store in the top right hand corner once you have done that you'll be redirected to the shopify app store and the next thing i want you to do is tap on the search bar at the top of the page and you're going to type in gelato and you're going to select gelato print on demand the reason why i recommend that you use gelato print on demand is it is completely free to get started and it is one of the main print on demand platforms that i've come to realize that is easy to integrate on shopify and you'll also be able to add a design to multiple products at once so you'll be able to list multiple products easily on your shopify store using this platform and by scrolling down you can see that they have numerous positive reviews and you can also see that it is completely free to install as you can see right there and if in the future you'd like to go onto their paid plan, it is quite affordable as it starts off for $24 per month. But for now, you could tap on install. And once you have installed it, you'll tap on open app. After selecting open app, you'll be redirected to the Gelato dashboard. Once on the dashboard, the first thing I want you to do is you're going to go over to the top right hand corner. And you're going to tap on create product after selecting create product you have two options you can either tap on multiple products which will allow you to add one design to multiple products or you can tap on sim single product and from there you can add your design to each product individually so you can add you can create multiple designs and add them to each product individually for the sake of time, I'll just tap on the multiple products option and I'm going to be adding one design to multiple products. So you would tap on select local file and I'm going to select this design that I had created earlier. Or better yet, I'm going to be showing you how I come up with my designs. All I do is go onto canva.com, which is completely free to use. And I'm going to type in t-shirt logo and from there you can see t-shirt logo retro that was the one i used but if we were to tap on t-shirt logo right here you can see numerous options that you can choose from so you can simply scroll down and select an option right there so let's say for example i were to select this one after you have tapped on the template from there you could tap on customize this template or you could scroll down and you can see similar templates so let's say this one right here you could tap on customize this template after doing that from there you could change the style if you want if you would like to add a font or so on you could go over here and you could tap on text and you could add a different font style so you could add text right up here or if you would like to add a pic you could tap on uploads and you could upload a picture or we could tap on elements right here and then from here you could type in whatever you want so let's say for example we wanted to type we wanted to add a money bag we could simply type in money bag right there then from there i could select graphics after selecting graphics you could scroll down and you could select a money bag for example let's say this one and you can edit the size I'm going to be adding a money bag right here and this is just a quick example to show you how easy it is to customize and create a t-shirt logo on canva then you'll tap on share in the top right hand corner tap on download then tap on download once more once your design has been downloaded all you will need to do now is go back into gelato and from there you're going to tap on select local file and you're going to select your design then tap on open then you're going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner after tapping on continue from here you'll be able to select the products that you would like to list your design on as you can see you have numerous products that you can choose from 
or you could simply tap on the individual one you could tap on all right there or you can select individual ones so for example let's say we were to scroll down and from here you can see we could select this one right here gelato's pick then we're going to tap on men's clothing and we're going to be adding the design to men's clothing also and let's say for example this one then you can select women's clothing and you can select it also you can add it to tote bags you could add it to kids clothing as you can see right there you can select multiple products quite quickly you can even select phone cases and mugs if you want and if you like to publish selected products as variants you can also do that by tapping right there then you are going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner after doing that you'll be able to select mockups for each individual product what i would normally recommend you do is tap on free right here so you'll be able to see all of the free mockups then from here you can select the mockup that best suits you so i'm going to be selecting this mockup for example sake then from there, I'm going to be tapping on men's clothing and I'm going to tap on free once more. After doing that, you can select a mock-up that you like. So I leave it as is. Then select women clothing. I'm going to tap on free once more. And from there, you can see the different mock-up styles. So you can select whichever one suits you. Then you can tap on tote bags and I'm going to select free also. And you can see the different mock-ups right there. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner. Then from here, you can edit the title. So I'll type in, keep it simple. And you can enter a title for men's clothing also, women's clothing and the tote bags. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from here, you will be able to set your price. So you can see the shipping cost right here. You can set the price that you would like to sell it for. So let's say for example sake, I'll type in $5,000. So you can see right there. Then I'll tap on men's clothing and I could set it at the same price just for example sake. Then I can tap on women's clothing and I'll set it at the same price too. Then I'll tap on the tatty bags and I'm going to do it right there. Then I'm going to tap on continue. Then we'll tap on publish. After tapping on publish, you're going to give it a few seconds while the products are being pushed to your store. So once they have been added to your store, you can scroll down and you can see the products are being published right there. Once they have been added to your store, all you'll need to do is go back into Shopify and from there you'll be able to view the individual product pages. Another thing that you can also do is on the Gelato platform, you'll be able to monitor all of your orders by going over to the left hand menu option. You could tap on orders and from there you'll be able to view all of your orders. Also, if you would like to offer, for example, personalized options. So, for example, someone could select a product, let's say, for example, a coffee mug and they could send in their family picture or their picture and their name you will be able to offer them that option you can do that by simply scrolling down you could select try now right here for shopify and you could sign up they do offer a free 14 day free trial that you could use so you also have that option when it comes onto this platform now let's go back into our shopify dashboard and we're going to simply tap on products from the left hand menu option and you can see right there that our products have been added to view them we could tap on preview on an online store so you can see it is loading up if i were to go back to the home page and simply scroll down you can see the different products right there so i could tap right here and i could see the product you can see it right there so that is one product and if we were to go back to our catalog, you can see there are multiple products added right there. Multiple print and demand products and all of these were created by Gelato. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative on how to create a print and demand general store on Shopify.